Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out a feature of the scanf function and that is to receive input for multiple variables in a single statement. Now just to make things interesting, I'm going to enhance the simple interest program that we made a couple of tutorials ago. And uh, instead of providing values to the variables that we use in the program, I'm going to ask the user of the program to supply the values as input the variables, right? So I've saved this file. Already, it's called uh, simple underscore interest underscore enhanced dot c on lines one and two. I have a comment that says receive values of principal rate of interest and duration from user on line three. I have the header file on line four. I've declared the main function and I also have the curly braces. So we are all set to type in code. Now, before we use the variables, we'll have to declare them, right? So let me do that and uh, I have to type in int just a second. int space print comma time and uh, the variable print is going to hold the value for the principal the variable time is going to hold the value for the duration and uh, both these are integers on the next line I'll declare the other two variables that we are going to use in the program and uh, they're both going to be of the float data type and the first one I'm going to call rate and this is going to hold the value for rate of interest next one I'm going to call si and this is going to hold the value of uh, the simple interest that we are going to compute. On the next line, I'm going to use printf to display a message to the user on screen instructing him uh, to do what he's supposed to do, and that is to provide the input for the variables. So enter values of principal rate of interest. Maybe we can ask him to type in the value for duration first and, and rate of interest colon at the end and a semicolon to terminate this statement and now we're going to use scanf to store the values into the variables now we've seen scanf in action in the previous tutorial and we know how it works and uh, the only thing that we're going to do differently this time is that instead of providing just one format specifier for um, you know, uh, having the input, we are going to provide three format specifiers and three addresses because we're going to get three different inputs this time, right? And, uh, you know, the inputs are going to be for the three variables. And um, we have two integers and we have one float data type. So, you know, we're going to have uh, percentage D twice and we're going to have percentage F once. And uh, percentage D the first time is uh, going to be for the principal variable. Second time is going to be for the duration, or sorry, the time variable. And uh, the percentage F format specifier is for the, you know, rate of interest variable. And, uh, you know, apart from mentioning the format specifier thrice, we'd also have to type in the addresses or we have to supply the addresses to the scanf function, uh, addresses of the three variables. And we're going to do that by typing in and prin and time and, and rate. Right now, you need to make sure that the sequence in which you provide the address to the scanf function matches the sequence in which you've asked the user to supply the values uh, as input, right? So since in the printf statement here, we've uh, asked the user to give us values of principal, duration, and rate of interest in that order, we are going to have uh, to supply addresses in the same order. Right? So that's something you need to make sure. Also, you need to make sure that you have your format specifiers in the same sequence. So since uh, we have the percentage F format specifier at the end of this list, we have the address of the rate variable, uh, you know, as the last address um, in the list of addresses, right? So this is going to get us the values. Now we have to compute the value for a simple interest and we're going to do that by typing in SI equals uh, PRIN multiplied by time multiplied by rate we have to divide the entire thing by 100 and uh, I'm not going to explain the logic it's very simple and we've also checked it out before and now we have computed the value for simple interest we just have to display it on screen and for that we're going to use the printf function so printf simple interest is we put a colon and the percentage f format specifier because si uh, the variable si is uh, of float data type and since we're displaying a floating value we have to use the percentage f format specifier and you just type in si because uh, 
you know, we're just interested in displaying the value, not the address. So we don't have to use the address of operator here. I'd put a semicolon to terminate this state. Now save the file, click on build and run to see what happens. There you go. I see my output window and I see the message enter values for principal duration and rate of interest. And I'm going to provide uh, 10,000 as the value for principal and uh, press the enter key to provide the value for the duration variable. I'll uh, you know enter three as a time period and, uh, and press enter again this time to provide the value for rate of interest and uh, let me think of a floating point value let me provide 8.5 as the rate of interest now press the enter key I see my output simple interest is 2550 point you know you see a bunch of zeros there because simple interest the variable SI is of floating point so uh, float data type sorry so you know even though there isn't any fractional value uh, we see we still see a bunch of zeros there so there you go another thing that I want to talk about in this tutorial is that you know you must have noticed that to provide the values for three variables I had to press the enter key right I pressed the enter key first time to provide value for the duration variable and second time to provide value for rate of interest you can either use the enter key or you can press the tab right so it's up to you to decide I prefer pressing the enter key and you know it's it also makes more sense to me so that's it for now I'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss uh, another interesting feature of uh, the C language so stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon